Afternoon folks, uh, we have the usual suspects, Alex Grant, Phil Atridge, Stuart's taking a background seat because um, he's feeling really good. <laughs> Quite good fun today. I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it's a very good thing. Um, your breakdown then, Stuart? Oh, well, okay, we'll start off with the fact that the BBC again produced a crap programme, we cut off early. Um, on top of that, I thought Alex was, God, I think he's going to be, I'm sorry, I'm going to score him more than 10. I thought he was absolutely top form. And the idea, somewhere in the Labour Party in Scotland, that they would go again with a personal cancer victim. And this is, this is, this is worthy of, top, of, of national importance. Where did they get that from? They must read the sun all the time. Absolutely ridiculous. No. Um, slam dunk for fucking salmon. Pardon well, the, my the, language. The, in, the interchange with uh, Joanna Lama, I mean, she ended up listing half a dozen names. Yeah. I mean, it, it just really is. It just shows the dearth of where they are that they, they really have to stoop to male, Daily Star, Sun kind of politics. Just like, I mean, I, I thought she was, uh, and she was actually doing a, a wee advert for the big farmer as well. I'm just wondering, I wonder what the check she gets at the end right. of the day from Merkitz, you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, well, it, it, is, it is tradition She'll anyway for same. anything to do with the health in, right. in New Labour to, to earn money out of it. But that, I mean, which is why they're such stuck in South. That was strange because her information was in direct contrast to what Simon's information was because his was specific that if you'd had chemo, you shouldn't get that drug. And yet the company said at five to 10 this morning, according but to- they, they, well, no, Let's be honest, the point, Salmond was extremely statesmanlike on the yeah. whole, through the whole thing. He, he could have really stuck the knife in. It was appalling what she did again. And he just stayed, it, it, it kept high status. She was so low in the gutter. Yeah. She was licking the fucking so there was a clue. There was a clue there when they brought up Healy. What did she do? She lied. She just stood there and just told lies and used crass emotionalism to try and get people. I'm sorry, she was a, an appalling excuse for a political leader and a leader of the opposition. When was this? You talking about Healy? Well, when they brought up Healy, because I, well, I put in Healy as well about when they said about she said about trust in government, you know, uh, and he said. No, that was David's. No, it was David's name. Wasn't it? No, no, no. She said, "Who do they trust?" The health service or oh, the I government. Yeah. Yeah. Did you bring Healy into that? I don't remember that. No, I, I brought Healy into that. No, you yeah. brought I know it's different. Every yeah. opportunity you got, you did. It, what I find really quite stunning is that this idea that she's holding a government responsible. It was their initiative that set up yeah. the clinical. Aye, but that, look, you no, uh, no, you're being too logical. Um, what, no, you are. Yeah. Look, hey, who watches this anyway? One, uh, uh, only uh, Anna Rice like us. Only Anna <laughs> like us. But the, f the fact is, it's, it's a classic um, opposition um, ploy, uh, A, to use the health service because they know how sensitive it is to the majority of the public, and B, to ignore the fact of anything they might have done in the past. And her, I, I, I agree with everything Stuart says, but what she tried to do was say, this person, that person, and young person only got dealt with because they appeared in front of the, the Daily Record, or I brought it up last week, and your health minister met the person this morning. In other words, that person only got access and got what they needed after it was made public. Now, Salmon answered it very well without losing the, the rag, which she could have done in the way that you understandably are saying she's it's cheap and nasty. Oh, it's so he, so he, did, he did a really good job. but. The fact is, if you, if, you, if you look at all the points Labour tried to make today, none of them hit, as far as I'm concerned, anyway whatsoever. I mean, she continually goes on about governments have to make choices economically anyway. He said, we, we don't get involved in Mrs Fleming, the medics do that. The fact that, that the health minister saw her this morning was one of those things that politicians have to do because they have to do it because she brought her into the chamber last week. But it's a, it's a cheap attack. And the other cheap, cheap attack by, by your man at the end, which was cut off by a fat boy with the red braces, um, was, was great. You know, you're seriously suggesting oh. that, that because Amazon are avoiding tax, which, by the way, your leader, 
your ex-chancellor and prime minister was a prime architect in making it happen, that we shouldn't be in getting them to invest in Scotland. So, it, you know, the Labour Party did nothing today. They were useless. I, well, they were, yeah, I, I, think, I think they were worse than useless. And particularly that whole bit of, on the medical bit, because, and they're attacking the government of Scotland, and it's because of this government of Scotland, which we've had since 2007, that we're still sitting here with the health service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that long ago. Because of people chasing after, a health board chasing after Blair's targets for foundation hospitals, they caused the deaths of 1,200 people. Mm -hmm. Right, Miss Lamont. Answer that, you hypocritical well, Staffordshire, you're talking about. Yeah, and she, yeah. Couldn't, she couldn't answer. I'm a, you see, one has to say, apropos Stuart's point, that's, that's the sort of comment that Alex Salmon could make, but he's quite right not to make it. it. It must be very tempting to turn around and say, you killed all these people in Staffordshire and you have the temerity to complain about us, but of course you can't say that sort of thing. So he has to keep his powder dry in having to go back because it's far too sensitive a subject. So he dealt with it. I agree with you. And that's he, said, the ones he, we know he, about. he said you wouldn't debate about personal yeah. Yeah, people yeah. Yeah. in the chamber. And, yeah. and he's quite right. He is quite absolutely right. wrong for her to bring it up but again. What do you think about Ruth Davison's well, with her? Can I just, uh, on Joanne, what, what do you think about her performance? Now, I mean, I've been <clears> fairly <throat> impressed. I, you know, she's found a comfort zone up until two weeks ago, I think she's undermined herself with these personal, personalising the health service. I can understand that if you want to illustrate a point, it's much easier to do it that way. But I take it we're all fairly much agreed that it's we consider it below the belt. Right. All I'm, 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 I'm just a, it's it's rabid. It's disgusted. That's <clears> the word. I. It's it's not. Is it, a, is it a failing? Is it a failing in her ability well, well, the question is, to will she score the points will without she, going... Okay, the, all right, the other question is, will she score um, electoral advantage? I don't know. That kind of stuff does appear in the record and the star and the sun and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So, so maybe she will, and that's why they're doing it. But she herself it's, has it, lost all credibility. I, I, I think it doesn't make her look statesman. No, yeah, not so, at all. Yeah, so the, so the question She's no then, leader. This is the point I was trying to make at the start, Stuart. The question then becomes, because... Most oppositions will attack a, a government in an attempt to get tabloid headlines. You, me, the four of us probably sit here and spit rather than listen, look at any tabloid headlines and think they're worth the monkeys. But the fact is, they don't sell all these newspapers without having traction. Absolutely. So, I, much as we think she's cheap, the whole cheap shop, the personal personalisation of it, the whole nine yards, the fact is, it probably gives the tabloids a headline which suits them. But at the end of the day, she's still cheap. No, she is. But, and apart but, from that tabloids, she's also that classic yeah. Fox News kind of fodder. I know. They will love her. Well, I know that, but the point, the point is... Right uh, wing fodder. Yeah, right what, wing. We've discussed this before. Are we marking her according to what we consider to be our standards or whether She's doing a job which hits with the public well, well, appropriately. No, that's, that's, that's the, the hard bit. But, but that's what we discuss. Well, that's what no, we decide. No. We're, we're here because we have standards. Well, yeah. that's fine, but we've got to be clear can, about how we are. Can we, oh, yeah. can we just stick with Labour because um, Ken, uh, Mac Ken Macintosh. Macintosh had a question about Amazon. And tax. And what did we think of that? Well, it's great. He dug a hole and dived into it and kept digging. He yeah, yeah. came up smelling of but the, shame. This is a man right now, if you have a look at the, 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 there's, you know, there's, there's Quite a bit there, you know. You can see that, you know. With he was the nearly leader when you going back. Him. No, he well, he was, yeah, almost yeah. leader. He he was the second favourite, but he's in charge of finance. Now, with that depth of knowledge, you know, and that depth of insight, we we'd end up with, you know, imagine him being in charge of the treasury in Scotland or or anywhere. Um, it's just it was just mind blowing. Well, well, I get, it was a question that mind -blowing it was a stupid. Westminster question asked in Hollywood. I, well, hang on. There's a, a target. No, There's a target. Hang, hang on it. Hang on a minute. It's it's unfortunately it's the same as with if you attack the NHS or if you yeah. can attack the government for the NHS and if you and if your Labour who whose credentials in social democratic terms are in bits. Um, can attempt to, to attack the SNP who say that an, indivi uh, an independent Scotland will be more socially democratic. But by the way, you want a race to the bottom with, with regressive taxation which favours big corporates. As a line, it's great. 
And again, it depends how it's then reported. His credibility in the way Sam had eviscerated him because they got no mm -hmm. credibility mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. But if you're sitting there looking for something to attack, you could either do what Ruth Davidson did and suggest that your economic credibility generally is highly questionable, you're going to end up a basket case, which, you know, that's one approach. That'll be, that'll be in the papers, basket case. Oh, uh, well, and the other alternative was to say, this, these people, because I'm, I'm appealing to Labour voters here, all right? That's mm -hmm. my, my Labour party. I'm appealing to Labour voters. <laughs> they want to give <coughs> advantage to big corporations. I'll give you an answer to a Labour voter. I'll give you an answer to a Labour voter. Race to the bottom. Yeah, we'll drop corporation tax. The difference between us and you is we'll collect that lower corporation tax. You've got a higher corporation tax, which you don't collect at all. The, right, Tory, the Tory argument for the 5p cut and the top rate of tax, you mean? Was it 10p? No, no, when you talk about corporation oh, tax and, and Amazon yeah. and the, the, they're well, all the, the billions Tory, the Tory and billions Nokia. They don't collect the tax. For the cut from 50 to 45 was they'll get more tax in because it's not... Yeah, right. not so well, can I just point, cut. I think the, the big picture today was I watched two people on that screen today. One of them was Malcolm Chisholm, sat right behind Joanne Lamont yeah. while she was, make, while yeah, she was making it. And he was sat there, he never nodded, he made no expression at all of support. You yeah. could hear other Labour people yeah. banging yeah. their desks and clapping. And he's he's Malcolm been always looks well, like that, he, but he's always been he's been he's 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 been strong in social justice and health. These have been his, well, his yeah. strengths. And he sat there offering not a fucking Stone. whisper of an expression of support. Stone. He was squirming. He was. And then again, later on, with the Ken McIntosh question about the Amazon and the, and, and, and the Amazon fund. Uh, Amazon got 10 million to, 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 to build a place in Fife in Helen Eady's constituency. The camera switches to Helen Eady and she is absolutely squirming. Yeah, She's yeah. going like this. Oh no. Because he had asked a terrible yeah. question and Salmon. Absolutely eviscerated, it's not even strong enough. Mm. And it was these two images of today's FMQs yeah, that really strict. It's because stick they with don't me. And, 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 and not by, an answer. And by the way, no, it's three. Okay. Because he then took old Murdo and, oh. and, and, <laughs> and used yeah. him to smack her. <laughs> oh, right. Like that was beautiful. Beautiful. So he actually managed directly with two people and indirectly with the first to actually have a go at all three parties, so which was great. The only, the only person he didn't have a go at was Wee Willie, because there was nothing to go at. Yeah. Talk, talking, talking about murder, which brings us on to Ruth quite neatly, um, that first paragraph she came out with was probably the funniest thing I've seen for a while about Christian type. <laughs> Faster than Zimbabwe mm -hmm. in terms of uh, racist stereotyping, yeah. printing money, yeah, and um, debt up to the oxters. My <laughs> God, I didn't think it was a word she'd know. No, I would have thought she'd understood it. Uh, Honest John, Central American basket case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more racist more stereotyping, more and ageist as well. Ageist as well. Oh, well. Oh, the ageist, yeah, well, the ageist. Ageist. yeah. And all he had to do was mention Dennis Healy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flipped her apart. But the, the, the thing, what you notice with both, both. The, the, the Tories and Labour is the complete lack of any direction, any coherent direction of where they're going, of any policy. I mean, I can just see the Labour lot. They'll all sit having their little executive group meeting before this, and it will be like a meeting of news international editors on what will we put. Let's put gotcha on the front. Don't think about the consequences. Just go for the headline. Mm. Um, they don't have a policy, which is why you've got Malcolm squirming, which is why you've got Helen. Mm. There's no joint up thinking there. It's soundbite, it's trite. And I'm is, sorry, I'm ashamed is, of it. Is the reason that we're not getting three questions on one subject? I mean, for a while there, Labour would lead with the economy, Ruth Davidson would lead with the economy, Willie Rennie would talk about two year olds and the economy. <laughs> Is, is this a sign of the breakup of the uh, Better Together campaign? Well, they yeah, well, put Gordon Brown in, and I mean, yes, everybody knows Gordon Brown will blow anything apart, won't he? <laughs> well, United with Labour, are, is that, does that mean that they don't have um, any sort of war cabinet? Has anything happened apart and, from the launch of United with well, Labour? They, well, do well, they appear anywhere on the internet? Have they got a website? Just, just, got just a, a slight tension on the side page. Wrong word for them to use, actually, unite against Labour because of the way they're actually having a go at Len McCluskey and unite and throw in Falkirk. I mean, I've been following the whole... Oh, here, I heard Joyce get busted again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, the yeah. airport. 
Allegedly, he's not been charged yet. All right, sorry. <laughs> oh, you mean like the last time? That, in, that independent MP. <laughs> ah, that one. As they called him. Labour Party. the news last night. Labour man, I enjoyed Well, of course, he's resigned from the Labour Party, so they can call him an independent MP. But there's all these Labour Party apparatchiks on their, on their Facebook page, all ranting and raving, because all these hundred people that, that would join from Unite, yeah. they were all actually paying their levy. So they were all levy members of the Labour oh, sorry, Party. Got, anyway, you, sorry, this was Phil, supposed to be... Phil, Phil, you've gone arcane. I have no idea yes, what you're I talking know. about. In, because of Eric Joyce stepping down, they're, they're, looking to get, Joyce. they're looking to get a new candidate. They've now cancelled it because Unite have done what the unions are meant to do because the Labour Party is... You're still talking um, gobbledygook, No, you? the Labour Party is a party of the trade unions. And they've got trade unionists, you know, Unite members, who pay the levy into the trade union, which gets paid to the Labour Party, seven million from Unite, by the way, since 2010. Um, and they've actually joined the Labour Party proper. And this is shock horror. They're actually coming in entries. You go, no, they're already there. But it's the apparatchiks. So they can vote to that's, choose that's Joyce's so replacement. All oh, right, I'm yeah. just, it was all going on top, over no, the top no, of my look, head. So they can choose to vote Whoosh. for Joyce's replacement. Yeah. And because that's happened, and they want to choose somebody different from what the mainstream of the Labour Party wants to choose, they've they've postponed the election so that they can... I think, I think, I think Phil needs to... Right. And you, you, and you'd, you'd, also, you'd also... I'm sorry, the average yeah, person hasn't a clue what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but the average person would understand this, and this was Unite's favourite candidate, uh, and she mm. basically mm. sat down... Mm. She, average she wanted doesn't... to have a party with man who died. Wait, the wait, minute, average wait, person was The average person, person doesn't, doesn't understand care. I know, I know. that Joanne Lamont, Lamont has 42 votes at a conference. They don't understand how that works. No, right? well, not they that. don't so understand. Don't, they think she's got one vote. Well, let's not yeah. worry about it. Right? I know. Let's talk about something. Let's else. move on to Willie. Waste of space. Well, I thought he was wrong. I thought um, I haven't been deeply involved in yesterday's shocking murder in, in South London or whatever. But I thought he was wrong to go on and on about that because that just gives the, the, the terrorists. Publicity, so I think I, I think he was wrong. Well, I don't. I, I wouldn't. You know, it's inevitable that p politicians are expected by the public to comment on how they're going to deal with what happened yesterday. I, I, what I would say about him is, he, he he must have come to the conclusion that his normal line of attack had actually finally run out, and he'd nothing. Well, because we call him a paedophile because he keeps bringing up two-year-olds. <laughs> he had nothing. Be careful. He had nothing better to say. So he asked, he, asked the, he asked the First Minister a question, which inevitably the First Minister was going to respond positively to and say, I can't give you the detail because one can't, it's a security issue, but yes, we're doing everything possible. We're all solidly behind fighting terrorism. Good night, Vienna. And that's, that's all I achieved. So <laughs> Salmon was so, he was actually very subtle, but he was totally patronizing. Oh, yeah. Well, you're acting like a grown-up, pat in the heat, and yeah. said, time. <laughs> or I'm going to give you a slap. Yeah, so, you know, what do you, what do you, how do you mark him accordingly? Because he didn't, he didn't oppose anything, but he behaved in a sensible fashion. He's an irrelevance. He wasn't... It, irrelevance is what he is, I agree with you. Kenny Gibson irrelevant. came up with the question Cracking. to give Salmon this platform. Yeah, yeah no, that's good. Treasury paper. Yeah, yeah. Can we believe a word they say? No. Oh, yeah, well, then that, no, that was obviously a... a a planted oh, question, oh, oh. but it worked very well. Yeah, we should have, I'll, I'll, and I'll bet you, I'll bet you, that Fat Boy with the Red Braces never made any of, we must check it, because we Brian must Taylor. That. Brian Taylor. Yeah, Fat Boy with the Red he, Braces. When he, when, he, when he intervened before the end of FMQs, I'll bet he didn't say in his summation, oh, and by the way, Alex Salmon managed to get two hits on Dennis Healy's revelation on Sunday, because the BBC wouldn't he dream of talking yeah. about that. I, I, I put £1,000 on the table now, he didn't say a word about it. Can I just ask it you, do you actually believe that the Treasury is part of the new camp, no campaign? Yeah. 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 Well, that's yes. unanimous then, isn't it? Well, it is. Well, I, I, well I, no, I, I, I actually don't believe they're part of the no campaign. I believe they're much smarter. They are the no the campaign. No campaign. <laughs> but I believe that, you know, I yeah. mean, their, their remit is obviously... But I, Every government department in Westminster is yeah. working on papers for the No Campaign, so the Treasury are no different. The, the, the other thing the No Campaign have stopped doing is accusing Salmond of using Scottish taxpayers' money to produce these, uh, these reports. Right. Because they're doing the same. apparently the UK is using a third as many civil servants for their reports 
and spending twice as much. Well, no. they will be because they've got them all. That's, that's the, you know, yeah. they've got oh, a bigger come army. Back to Ruth Davidson, I mean, I said at the time when we were watching it, it was a classic Scotland's too poor, too mean, too stupid oh, to run yeah, its own affairs. Yeah, yeah. That was her. I mean, that, that cannot go down well with anybody watching it. Oh, yes, it will. Wow. Oh, the selection committee in Surrey. Oh, that's it. The selection <laughs> committee for her safe seat in Kensington. Yeah, yeah, Maybe quite. she's lined up to take over from Malky. There might be quite a lot of folks sitting there in government who would agree with it. Well, they're watching that. The, the other one I think I spotted, which was aimed at the, the woman's vote, was the Christine Graham. Question she's on she's on powerful. Violence. She's very strong. She stays up. She's always a backbencher, but she's always I, strong. I'm not impressed with her on TV. She gets a bit emotional for me on TV. She's, right. she's not as calculated. She's very good in the change. She's good in committee. Yeah, but, yeah, but, I mean, the reason I, the reason I'm bringing it up is just the way the questions ran from the SNP backbenchers. Mm -hmm. Violence against women. Well, they've got. They seem to now have their patterns set. You know, we will have a question. Anything that the UK government comes up with, we'll have a question giving giving us the opportunity yeah. to blow it up. But. We've got that quiet, reasonable question, you know, nursery education, and domestic violence, whatever, aimed at the uh, at the female voters in, in but, Scotland. But it is very, it's, it is very serious because if anything, I mean, if you go back to the seventies with with the rise of women's liberation or women's rights, um, we are going backwards. There's no doubt about the backwards. I mean, there's been umpteen surveys that they've done with kids, with school kids. Um, teenagers and the amount and, and really worrying thing is not that men are violent misogynistic bastards because we know an awful lot of them are but it's the amount of women now young girls that actually think it's all right it's it, you know because that, that the objectification of women objectification of children little children a lot of, a lot of girls that they he's, don't have he's a child he's off on his rant <laughs> so it's very very serious stop so Put your misogyny in your back pocket and listen to that. No, no, it's probably good. It's a good point. It is very serious. You know? Can we have the scores on the doors? Well, I want to go first this week. I'm giving uh, Sam, <laughs> I'm giving him 12. 12. Oh, sorry, God, he just made no mistake at all. He was absolutely stunning. He was diplomatic, he was statesmanlike, he fucking savaged. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Um, Joanne, I'm sorry, she's a minus two. That was appalling. I'm disgusted that she even carried on with this personal kind of stuff, using the chamber of the, uh, our national parliament to talk up one person's life. I think, I think her confidence, her delivery, all that side has improved. Her um, content is now driving oh, Absolutely effect. disgusting. Minus two. Uh, Willie, I think he, was, he made a mistake in bringing up that issue. I didn't follow everything yesterday like a lot of other people. I was doing something else, but I was aware of it. Um, I think it's wrong just to give it extra oxygen. So, and he's usually a waste of space, I'll give him two. Presiding officer, what did she do? Nothing. She must have been all right. I had her <laughs> shout her voice once, so I'll give her five. Anybody uh, else? Ruth. Oh, Ruth. <laughs> too small, too stupid, and too poor. But the most entertaining 30 seconds of the day. I'll give her one for that. <laughs> Get as bad as him. Alex. All right. Um, I I give Alex ten. I don't know. I'm giving him any more. It's bad math to give him twelve out of ten. Well, it's work. yeah. It's about it. It's hyperbole, but I get his drift, and he's no feeling well. Um, so <laughs> I give Alex ten. I give John Lowen four, but only because of my, you know, I think cynicism actually can work even though we don't approve of it so it's hard to you know I'm not quite scoring it the way you are. Uh, Davidson I give her three because I thought she was next to useless um, and you know gave him plenty of opportunity to give her a good smack around the heat. Uh, Willie Rennie I, I disagree with you I think he's, he's irrelevant but in terms of a parliamentary performance you know he asked the question that the average punter would say yeah, well, that's very serious. Mm -hmm. yeah, we agree, that's very serious. I to give make yourself five. look relevant. So five? So yeah. compounding is Yeah, because it, it, it wasn't high. stupid. It wasn't, it, it, he didn't, you know, score a, an open, you know, give, the, give Salmon the opportunity like he did last week to say you're a kamikaze pilot and the week before, blah de blah um, So I, I give him five. Uh, signing officer, uh, there was a bit of talking in the background. I think she could have actually done something about it, but it was generally okay today. There wasn't too much banging and yoking. Someone so. left the mics on, that's no, what it is. Yeah, so and I think they shouldn't do that. Um, so I gave her six. Um, 
I thought it was fairly innocuous. Oh, mine's going to be quite radical. I'll give salmon ten. Zero, 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more measured than you. Yeah. Sorry, the three of them were were appalling. They didn't deserve any. One was racist, ageist, and just you know, okay. um, and then got slaughtered by her own side. <laughs> Lamont was rabid. She was just there advertising for big business again and just lying, lying, and lying, um, and just contradicting herself all the time. It, well, if you're a complete moron watching that and you were impressed, then yeah, well, you just com you just really confirmed that you're a complete moron. Well, a lot of them about. And Willie is just a complete and utter irrelevant. And he was trying to make himself look um, serious, which, right. which just made, it, it's made yeah. him look even more irrelevant. Yeah, well, you, th you and I think that, but I'm not sure the average viewer would agree with you. But I know. Dear but then we ran around, so we're in touch. I'm, I'm actually only given Simon the nine because what? there was so much more ammunition he could have used. <laughs> <laughs> he was being diplomatic. He was very, very good. Yeah, very good to say, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, Joanne, I'm, I'm going with you four because I've got a sneaky feeling, nasty as we feel it is, it, it will resonate. Yeah. She'll get her headlines. The Daily Record will love the interview they do. But I'll take it personally as a Labour Party member. That's what we've done as a Labour. No, they will. Willie Ray, I, I actually think Willie played it right. He had, he had to get some dignity back, and he did. Um, you know, it was a question with no downside. Clever yeah. way to do it. Made him look like a reasonable human being. Probably put on clean white runs as well. Dildo. They could have said at the end, and how are you going to protect two-year-olds? Well, uh, yeah, 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 just as an aside. Are we building shelters for the tornadoes for 2D? In, 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 excellent, indeed. Yes, you could have yeah. done that. <laughs> uh, Ruth Davidson, because she was the most entertaining of them all. I'm sorry, I thought that 30 second burst at the front where she got just about every sound bite you could think of. Basket case, Zimbabwe, <laughs> debt default, <laughs> oxters. currencies, up to your oxters, share of debt. And the presiding officer, who didn't have much to do, um, who did uh, she slapped Ruth, didn't she? Oh, I, I get to the question, she said. Yeah, yeah, she did, that's yeah. true, yeah. 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 That's why I gave her six. So. Do, so I'll add them up, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> nice day. Mm. Well, I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be very difficult after that long. Gibson already given a reasonable score, but his was, yeah, that was a... He was planted. Oh, it was, well, of course it was, but he's also very good. He's also very confident and he's... Very efficient. He's he improved over the week mm. on the telly. Got interviewed a few times and he did get better. Labour should take note of that and actually start being serious to start. You know, I mean, actually start to have a go at their policies. Not not this trite sensationalism. Because, unfortunately, they've got a severe red, lack red top headlines. Just a minute, they've got a severe lack of talent, which is widely accepted <laughs> across yeah. all commentators. They yeah. just don't have the people in there to do anything very. Interesting. Interesting result this week, actually, because Joanne's been there or thereabouts, and that's her at the bottom of the pile. She's six, and I would put that down to our disgust with the way okay, it's just she's a, used it's yeah, people. Um, second from bottom is Ruth, but she's a Tory. I don't think it would matter really what she did. I can't see her getting much more vote at this no. table. Willie on 11. Um, so what? Who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but the provisioning officer has come second on 21! Oh, good on her. And Salmon on 39. Well, thank you gentlemen. Um, well, that was quite good fun with Ruth though. That must have it was entertaining in a way and enlightening on the, the bereftness of talent in the opposition. Yeah. Just You're depth. Party, but there's just no depth there. I think you should maybe hang on, folks, because I've got a sneaky feeling that Phil will be filmed no, I'm ranting. No, I'm quite Very worn shortly. Out. I'm quite worn out now. See you next week, folks. Thank you. Bye bye.